Here comes Dumbass of the Day, and it's brought to you by Peterson's U-Cart. Big box stores can be overwhelming. Uh, make sure you don't waste your time there. Get over to Peterson's U-Cart. They're on Gusta Road in Atascadero. Atascadero? Atascadero? I like it with an A. Okay. You feminized it. <laughs> uh, check them out in A-Town. They're online, petersonthelettereucart.com. Don't forget, they load, you cart, and you save. How pathetic can some people be? Every town I play has the... Uh carpool lane some people call it the diamond lane the high occupancy vehicle lane on the freeway um i call it immoral (laughs) immoral because it discriminates and discrimination is wrong (laughs) the carpool lane discriminates against the lonely (laughs) these people through no fault of their own don't have the social skills to make friends okay (laughs) That's unfortunate, but what do we do as a society? We push them off to the right in this vehicular apartheid while they sit isolated in their loser mobiles, forced to watch the popular people whiz by them. It's good. That's mean. It means Meredith. Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOZ. Uh, today, we're headed off to New York. This is the state of New York, not the city of. Another guy tried to get away with uh, driving in the carpool lane without somebody else in the car waiting for him. He was driving a Nissan always, sedan. These always make me perk up because I always want to see what methods people are using. How creative they got, right? Yeah, but I, I don't know that, you know, it's necessarily great because they got caught. If they're dumbass of the day, they got caught. I want to see somebody. I, I want to hear about the ones that go uncaught. Yeah, we don't really have carpool lanes to deal with here. But, I mean, when you I've travel other places. God, I've gotten so many tickets from San Francisco, from the Bay Area. Yeah, I always be- just tell them. I always just tell them. And it's always like on a Saturday afternoon. Or yeah, something. and, and, and it, the signs are tricky because they're like, oh, only Monday through Friday between these hours. You think, oh, I can drive there. And then all of a sudden it says all times there's cameras like, oh, my God, I got to get out of this thing. Quickly, here's what happened. They made a ticketed for driving in the HOV lane with a fake passenger, sort of. Take a look at this. That fake passenger ended up being a mask I'm attached up. to the seat's headrest. Some might say, is Brilliant. that Michael Myers driving in the passenger seat? <laughs> da, 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 da. It was a Michael Myers mask. He just had it around the headrest, like he would buy for Halloween. The white mask, just the white mask, or like uh, did you that you would that you would see. Now, were you able to decipher and obtain from the report that you just played there whether or not the seat was scooted up? Because I think if the seat is scooted up, the passenger seat is scooted up, and you have that mask, and that one's not going to work. But if you have another mask, like a mask that is more, a little <laughs> bit more three-dimensional. Like that looks more like a person? Yeah. Not like, a serial I killer it, I, I from an 80s horror f- flick? I think it will fly. Both times I got tickets, HOV, you know how many people were in the car? Four. But three of us were sitting in the back. One was driving because nobody was sitting in the passenger seat. Got we got a over. ticket. I tried to explain that to them. They're like, sorry, you still got to pay. I'm like, why? I had four people in the car. They're like, we couldn't see them from our cameras. I'm like, you're kidding oh, me. Oh, I see. Because you weren't pulled over by an officer. You were just no, it was just it was just, just a, a sent to me in the mail. I'm like, you're kidding me. So now somebody always has you, the you right shotgun. Take, you can't take my word for it? And they're like, well, we'll let you pay a dollar this time. A dollar? I'm like, a dollar? Oh. What was the original ticket? 33 I think. Oh, there you go. You saved yourself $32. But I settled when I was in the right, though, and I didn't like that. I, I, I felt no. dirty. I felt dirty. But if you're able to scoot the seat forward and put a three-dimensional fa- face on the back seat of the car, then maybe it could work out. What or if you just put front seat, this? F- yeah, maybe he's just trying to beat the cameras here. He wasn't thinking about the police officer. Yeah, they saw him driving down the road and then pulled him over. Okay, this was in Suffolk County. The police say the highway patrol officer spotted 20-year-old Justin Kunis driving on the LIE near Comac yesterday just after 7 p.m. The officer became suspicious of the front passenger, pulled Kunis over, spotted the mask. Kunis was issued a summons for the HOV occupancy violation. Yeah, it wasn't going to work there. <laughs> I love the news anchor. Little additions. <laughs> wasn't going to work there. 
Yeah, work on it. Come on, you get it. You got writers. This is the laziest jackass I've ever. I mean, come on, seriously, a mask, and then you couldn't even get a mask that looks like a person. You got one that from a movie that everybody's going to recognize. Myers, what was his name? Michael Myers. Michael Myers. It's the Michael Myers mask. Very clean too, by the way. At least if it had a little dirt on it, it might look a little bit more. Realistic. Which one's the Michael Myers mask? I'm not. It's that white mask. So it's, it's not the white. hockey mask because that's Jason. No, that's Jason Voorhees. What, uh, just it's just all white and uh, beady eyes. Ugh. Anyways, uh, so uh, he was. I don't know that what the summons is, is for that. that but it's just lazy. super, super lazy. Like put so, a body in there, do something, screw the seat up, make it bigger, give it a better mask. I mean, the idea nobody's of, gonna be wearing that mask. Not having to go get a dummy and put all that in there. I get it. Put it around the headrest, but like you said, make it a better mask. So he's going to pay his fine, and he's Jeff and Jeremy. Dumbass of the day. It's Jeff and Jeremy here. It's just so funny how politics has taken over so many people's lives over the past, I don't know, a few years. Um, this story comes out of Ohio. This guy calls himself a, uh, a Trumpster. And uh, one of his neighbors around the corner. This he calls is himself a, that? Yeah, a block away. Um, he's, or I'm sorry, Trump man. He calls himself a Trump man. That sounds like a superhero. Yeah. And, uh, he's 70 years old. Okay. That superhero flies with a comb over instead of a cape. Like he uses a comb over to fly through the air instead of the cape. And depending where you live, I mean, the, pol- the politics are either really important or not. Like here, you don't drive down the road and see a bunch of stuff. I mean, depending on certain neighborhoods, maybe you do. But man, when I go to see my parents, it's, it's big time Republican conservative country. They do not like Joe Biden. And I couldn't believe when I was driving down the main street and seeing flags that literally spell out the word, the F word and Biden's name on it. Oh, wow. And this Perfect. is like, yeah, it's pretty wild, right? Um, I'm sure there's. Is the superhero song? I'm sure song, this it's this way for against Trump in other places. Is the sub, is the superhero song for Trump man? Does it like you know how Trump used to when he was president? I remember back when President Trump was president. It was only six months ago. Um, he would really emphasize something and then reemphasize something and then reemphasize something. Like his favorite word was really. Like if he knew something was going to work. He's like, we got a really, 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 really good plan. So on that, for the Trump, for the Trump man uh, theme song, because, you know, like Batman's, no, 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 Batman. Yeah. And then Grassman. Of course, everybody knows what Grassman is. Yeah, Grassman. Grassman. Trump is like, Really, 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 proudly displayed the fact that he had, was a Democrat and he voted for Joe Biden, would go and drop a deuce on his yard in the middle of the night. Uh, he would he would swing by. He got caught oh, at 3 a.m. Oh, I saw this guy. This guy wears a red uh, track suit. I saw this. Uh, I saw what you're talking about. Yeah, you saw the guy. Okay, Trump man. And so Trump man goes around, and if you have a Democrat or a Joe Biden flag or sticker or whatever in your yard, then he will poop in it. No, just this guy's yard. Now, apparently this guy... Uh, he says he's been, uh, he, this was his Facebook post. He says, uh, he says, yeah, eventful early morning. And, uh, as we got the apprehension of the Trump man who's been crapping in our front yard. Really, for really, the really, past really, 10 really, years. really, 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 Trump man. His signature was three to four crumpled. Restaurant napkins that he would leave to identify himself and his clue. What was the restaurant? Uh, didn't say. Oh, didn't okay. say which which restaurant. I mean, come on, you've got to go. From. If you're going to do that, and that's going to be your like, you know, your your thing, your mo, your as a, you need to leave a better signature behind as as opposed to just whatever you have in the glove box of your car. 
You know, you need to leave like, you know, like go out, spend the extra money, spend up on 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 Amazon and buy some Biden uh, TP or something, you know? <laughs> Do you think now he caught him? He called 911 at three o'clock in the morning when he witnessed. Do you think he was doing a, a, a poop stakeout? Because he was he he got him at nine in, at uh, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. He says, I mean, yeah, he says up- hey, he says, uh, this guy has been pooping in my yard and I finally got him. Can you come get him? Hmm. I got him. Like, would you hold down somebody after they? No, he here? he didn't. He didn't hold him down. He just. I, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. He said that he knew who the guy was. He gave him their name, and they were able to look up his address. He's apparently a retired high school teacher. Um, I went and got him. Apparently, he says that he's been urinating, and he he had no issues or bones about saying, "Yeah, I've been pooping and peeing in that dude's yard for quite some time. I don't like him." What an idiot! Anyways, you know what? You know what the fine is for pooping on somebody's yard in Ohio? Not much, because I saw that the charge, the official charge, was littering. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so you saw this, <laughs> and I saw that. I was like, "That's it. That's all you get that's in trouble it. for. That's, what you get in trouble that's for. all you get in trouble for in Ohio for pooping on somebody's lawn, wiping your a with some yeah. restaurant napkins, and leaving it on there. It should it's be just worse. littering. It should it's be worse. Just littering, right? It should be worse, right? Don't you think it should be worse? Yes. I was very surprised that it was only littering. Like, I might want to move to Ohio and take on some adversaries now. Like, seriously, like, you could come to my house. I don't think that's the same thing you in California. You could TP my house with toilet paper. You could egg my house. And that is far. Uh, pooping in my yard is way worse no, than egging, that. Egging is worse. I'd rather somebody poop in my yard than egg. Ooh, is that the whole question today? Well, you could just pressure wash it Would off. Would you rather have somebody poop in your house or egg your house? Yeah, but not everybody poop has Poop in act. your house or on I, your I, yard? I, I, poop, poop in your yard or, poop, or throw an egg at your house. I bet you most people say poop in your Would yard. Would you rather get pooped or egged? That's the question. No, that, that, does that mean poop getting thrown at your house? No, it just means, you know. Yeah, I would rather have the poop in the yard. And you got to go pick it up. That's fine. What are you going to pick it up with, like a dog bag? Yeah, oh, same gross. way I pick up dog poop. Or I maybe can't. maybe I can use, barely stand picking up my dog. Maybe room. use some. Uh, Just gotta sit out there a day so we can, uh, you know, like a cardboard stale. box or something along those lines. You know, <sighs> like scoop it up on the cardboard box, put it in the trash can for the trash guy. Every week, this guy's away. been pooping on this guy's yard, according to him, for ten years. You'd rather have your house egged seriously? I could just wash that off with a hose. I mean, it just comes off with a hose. Theoretically, I know that we're in a drought now, and you fishermen want to save every drop of water that we can, so you can coming out of a reservoir. Yeah, um, but uh, but you could theoretically do the same thing with somebody who poops on your lawn too. Just wash it down. Oh no, you can't. Yeah, yeah. it depends on the size. It's human excrement. So human is far worse than than dog to you. Yes. Yeah, me too. Because because of the <laughs> stuff that why, we eat. It no, is. it's because of the stuff we eat. Like the dogs eat very tame. Like like, have you ever tasted dog food? There's nothing to it. I mean, it's very tame. Well, they have very sensitive yeah. taste buds, so they don't have to you no. know, put all the crap in it to make it taste mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Mm. Trump man down. Biden wins again. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. What percentage of Americans do you think said recently? Keep in mind, recently. This is. A poll that was just done. Okay. How many Americans, percentage wise, do you think said they want more alone time? <laughs> this is astonishing. The Everybody's result, been alone, the right? Re, the results are astonishing. Everybody's been alone. I would have thought that that number is going to be like around 8 or 9%. I would think, yeah, I would think it would be very low. But obviously it must be high. So you're telling me a, re, a study that was just done, uh, a survey. People said they want to have alone time. Even though we just went through a pandemic, most people <laughs> stayed at home. People went and adopted animals from shelters, dogs now, and now cats, they're and now back. they're taking them back because they, they can see work. people again and they go to work. Like, and now oh, they still want have a dog. I can more see alone time. 26, huh. 26% of Americans in a recent survey said that they wish they had oh. more alone time. This is that something is that phenomenal. you've always enjoyed. You've enjoyed your alone uh, yeah. time. I never was a person that liked to have alone time, but I'm as I get older... I definitely appreciate my alone time more and more. I had a friend come over to the house the other day, and it was funny because she was she was worried about um, getting back to normal because she is such an introvert that she has enjoyed the past fifteen months thoroughly, and now she's like, I don't know what to do. She also had a baby during that time, like at the beginning of the pandemic. 
So now it's like really strange because now she's going to have to, you know, she can't be a stay at home mom and, and be, you know, it, it, it'd be widely accepted. Like, I mean, she timed it out perfectly. If, if you look at it, you basically got a year and, uh, or 15 months of, you know, maternity leave. That's awesome. Most places give you six weeks, you know, you get 15 months. Jeez. That's awesome. But she's really freaked out about, uh, having to come in contact with people. Now, I know there's all kinds of emotional things going on here. I just think it's interesting that we say that we want more alone time. But is that alone time from our family? Because our families we've been with for the past 15 months. And I get it, man. And I don't get it as much as a lot of people do because it's not like I've been sequestered with my family like some people have. But I... I I understand, man. What do you at, want to do by yourself at the, at the end of the at the end, like on a Sunday evening? If if I said, "Hey, next weekend you can do whatever you want," it's golf. not me; it's your your family. Golf. You golf. would just go play a round of golf. Would golf. that be enough? Maybe two rounds in the same. Yeah, because it's, it's it's been so long. Golf, golf. I can never get away and play golf. Like, as a, as a as a father, you can never get away and play golf. It's so funny because- unless you play an executive course. And I mean, I got my daughter into golf for the sole purpose that hopefully she'd like it. So then I can go play golf just a little bit here and there too. Yeah. Yeah. I get a lot of alone time. So can I go fishing? That's the nice thing about fishing. You you can do it by yourself. Most people do it by themselves and you get all the alone time you need. When's the last time you went fishing by yourself? By myself? um, You're not a person that likes to do things by themselves. It has been a little bit, been a couple months actually. I got a buddy that likes to go. It doesn't surprise me. But not really. No, I guess that's not true because, okay, so we go there in our own separate cars, but he's in his kayak and I'm in my boat. Okay. And so I'm off by myself and he's off by himself, and but we have radios so we can talk to each other and he talks to me nonstop. And I think it's because- Two-way radios? Yeah. And, oh, I, think, and I think it's uh, because no, he's, he's, he's a single dork. guy. He's a single dork, guy. Dork. And dork, he's always dork. by himself. You guys are nerds with so your two-way like, radio. Just got another crappie over here. Check. Like, oh. Check. Psh, ten four over and out. <laughs> psh, psh. Where you at, man? Where you at? Nerd. Uh, I'm around the corner. I'm on the wall. Oh, oh, yeah. how you doing over there? I'm doing fine. I don't, I don't, I don't tell you every time I catch a fish. Fifteen minutes with you would want me to have more alone time. Would force me to want to have more alone time. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.